Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Okay, how are you guys? Good evening. How are you? How was your weekend for? Fine, fine, great. I, I rest. I saw good matches, my soccer matches. I went to play football like every every weekend. Yeah, yes, That is that is my whip every weekend. I went to supermarket. I went to play soccer. I I tried to rest to rest and uh, watch some series and visit my family. You went to it's visit like your family? Yes, every every Sunday I I went to I got to 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 visit my 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 parents. Excellent. Where do they live? Here in San Salvador, the the they are uh, near of my house, but I near my I don't house. have time. Yes. I don't have time in do, during the, the weekend. I I only have time uh, on Sunday or Saturday, so I I try to to visit visit them uh, on weekend. Okay, that's good. Do you have kids? I I can't remember. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> I only have a uh, ten months married. And ten months, ten months. Uh, and, uh, and right now we we don't have kids, but in the future maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe. it's okay. Good. Enjoy, enjoy your loneliness for now. The quietness <laughs> of the house. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Welcome, guys. Please try to turn on your cameras. Uh, we're about to start the class. You have six minutes still to make a conversation with a classmate. At this point, you, sh you should feel like friends. You know, we've been together for three months, I think, or four. I can't remember. So you should be um, easy going, you know, with everybody. Get along. Yeah, get along with everybody. Okay. So let's forget about the, the job, right? Uh, what happened during the weekend? Somebody, does anybody have something to share with the class? How something interesting that happened during the weekend? Good morning, everyone. Uh, in my case, my my weekend was very crazy. Uh, on Saturday in the morning, I went to work. And the afternoon, I was playing with my children. And I, I took um, to them to the park to eat tortas. <laughs> yeah. Um, on Sunday, I didn't get, get up uh, early. I got up super late. And we, uh, and in the morning, uh, we were watching movies as, as a family. And, and then in the afternoon, uh, we all went to the short, short, short. Yeah. And um, and now 
<laughs> uh, it, my day was very good, despite being to be beginning of the week, but with all the good attitude. <laughs> with all the good attitude, attitude, very good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for sharing, Elvin. Okay, yeah, those moments, I mean, sometimes you don't even feel the weekend, right? It goes by so fast, especially yeah. if, you, if you wake up late on Sunday. I woke up at 10.30, I think, at, at about 10.30. Um, I didn't know I was sick until today. I fi I'm finally using my real voice. Today, I couldn't speak. I mean, I was a little bit sick. And I was afraid of losing my voice, but somehow I'm okay right now. That's great. So if you hear me like the guy of Claudio, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> That's really, really bad to be like that. Especially when you work in a call center, uh, every customer goes like, what? what's going on with you, right? A lady, a lady told me today, you got a sexy voice. <laughs> That was so funny. Okay, guys, let's start the class. Let me do the attendance so we can work on the first stage. How many are we? We are 17 right now. <clears throat> Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Let me get to today's date. Today is the 25th, right? Yeah. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Elvin Arcides and Isabel Martinez. Present. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Thought I saw him somewhere. Nope. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Welcome. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. There he is. Jose Alberto Present. Salas Benitez. Thank you. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Yuri, 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 Yuri. Not here yet. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Welcome. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Mike, Mike is not here yet. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Yes. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Yeah. Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. It's not here. Okay, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. What's going on with Alan? Alan is not here. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Also not here yet. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanez. As well. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel. Jerez Pérez. Ivan is not here too. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. As well. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. Let me see. We have 16, 17 students. And Miguel just joined. Okay. So do you remember your homework? The specific homework I told you about at the end of the last class? was a very simple homework. Not at all. Think about a national product. See, I, I was falling asleep on Friday, but I do remember what I told you. <laughs> okay. Think about a national product. You have to come up with an exposition about a national product, go to page 25, I think, 26, I can't remember. Wait, what was it? Page 26. 
and look at this chart on page 26 and answer these questions in order to prepare a short, very short exposition, okay? We're talking about product branding. What does your business or product do? What problem do you solve for customers? What are your three main competitors? What is the primary message do you want to convey to your customers? What's the meaning of convey, William? Okay, Wendy, what's the meaning of convey? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Okay, Alexander, no, Elvin. What's the meaning of convey? Uh, it's a deal. Mm -hmm. It starts with a T, a T. Transmitir. Transmit, yeah, you want to transmit to your customers, very similar to the Spanish as well, to transmit to your customers. What are five adjective or words that best describe your company? Now, tonight we're talking about um, strong branding. Let me check again, just had it here. We're gonna talk about strong branding and that's very useful, components of effective branding, components of effective branding. I told you before, remember, what is the most effective way of knowing that your, your brand is strong, is strong? What is a real indicator? I mean, a huge indicator that you have impact, that your brand has impact in the world, basically on the market. When people use this, Uh, like a verb? <laughs> yes. When people use your brand as a verb, Google it. You said, right? Google it. And that's crazy. Okay. What other? I, I couldn't think about another one. So we're going to talk about that effective branding. Now, look at the other side. You also have personal branding. Um, Johnny, help me reading. What's there to say? What's there to say about personal branding? Um, what service do you have to offer to people? Mm -hmm. What do you do that may do a standard from one else. Mm -hmm. And who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? And what do you want your personal brand to convey? And what adjective do you want people to associate with you at the product and why okay shall we do an exercise with this thank you very much johnny it was great always final sounds johnny final sounds be more assertive be more strong when you speak who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves so let's see let's go with product branding first and then we go with personal branding we're gonna do an example together so i want you all to participate Okay. Okay, I want you all to participate. Let's go with product branding. What does your product or business do? What does your business or product do? Okay, I'm gonna give you the example if you don't speak, guys. Um, let's think about uh, a family business that I, 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 I have some family members, let's say, that run a business they they sell tires here in san salvador what's their name do you know ilatza or cambio y fuera no no that's no? cambio y fuera no okay so they they import and sell tires they have a workshop you know for cars as well and so they've been on the business for 
my God, I don't know, like 40, almost 40 years now. And they started in front of La Tiendona with, um, you know, these places where they change your tires, they just give you air, things like that. Ayanteria, just like any other corner. But they're a huge business now, thank God. So what does your business do in this case, right? What do they do? Everybody knows that kind of business. What do you think their business do? If they sell tires, they repair vehicles. As a workshop, uh, they repair cars. They repair cars. Correct. They'll, they sell products for cars, refactions. They sell refactions. Okay. What problem do they solve for, for their customers? When the customers uh, have problems with the, their cars, with, uh, with the engine, uh, how do you say carrozzeria? With the body car, the, cari, the, the car body, the car body. Mm -hmm. And tires, all, about, all the pieces about your car. Right, perfect. Okay. Now, who are the three main competitors? When you talk about in, in El Salvador, a medium business, it's not a small business, but it's a medium business in El Salvador. Who could be their competitors in this niche of market, tires specifically? Uh, Centro Servicio Doño. Doño, exactly, that's one of them. <laughs> and there's another one. Uh, Departel. Departel. One more. Importadora Ramirez. <laughs> That's right. Importadora Ramirez. They, exactly. And it's true, you know, when I work with them, it's always the same. They are still the competitors. They're, they're in the same line, the same niche of market competing. What is the primary message do you want to that they want to convey to you to their customers? What do you think? Um, is that well based on your knowledge about the company they're not so known you know when i told you cambio y fuera ilatza industrias importadora de llantas la importadora de llantas la tiendona ilatza that didn't ring any bell right <laughs> they're not so present in your mind okay so hmm but you know what is the message they convey to their customers? Honestly, family, a family business. Um, it's always the story of the company. Everybody knows the story of the company. When you go there, you know, everybody gets familiarized with the, with the story of the company, how, how um, the owner, the woman, the mother of the family started the business in the 80s during civil war. And then she, she started the business from scratch, from scratch. Then the four, let me see, three boys and a girl. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Qué hace los envíos de producto? Huh? What? Jury? <laughs> I didn't get that. Okay. So the point is that everybody knows how the company started. Five adjective words or words, adjectives or words, that best describe that company. What do you think could be five adjectives or words that could describe a business a business that sells tires? Quality. Quality. Okay. Price. Convenience. Price. Okay. Mm. Convenience. Someone said convenience. Mm. Someone was it other. Mm -hmm. Service, okay. Ada was about to say something. I think experience. Get it? Okay. So service, promotion, price, promotions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's good actually. That's good. And in this case of the business family, family. Um. Okay. That's basically it. I need you to describe a product come up with a presentation, you know, this could be of a national product that you know, 
in your group. Now, regarding personal branding, do you think it's different? Do you think personal branding is different? Can somebody give me an example of a personal brand? Mm, could be Messi a personal brand? Messi. I was about to say Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's leave it on a football player. Okay. Uh, a soccer player. A soccer player. Hmm. Okay. What service do you have to offer to people? Happiness. <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. Okay. Happiness through entertainment. Okay. What do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? What makes you awesome? What makes you shine from everyone else? Um, your talent to play football. Your talent to play football. Their talent to play football. Totally. Okay, who are your biggest competitors? <laughs> and what, <laughs> what are Cristiano. they? Cristiano. <laughs> They're competitors among themselves. But let's think without Messi, who are the competitors of Cristiano Ronaldo? Mm, Neymar. Mm. Neymar. Without Messi? Uh -huh. Messi. Uh, Neymar. Neymar. Okay, Neymar, what are If Mbappé, you would ask him, he Neymar would Alan. say that it's himself. It's himself, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing to brand themselves? Oh, what are they doing to brand themselves? I, I Neymar. Uh, um, so some brands contact contact to 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 them for advertising. Careful with the proposition. Some brands uh, for, contact them. Uh huh. For for doing advertising for uh, like uh, Gillette. Uh, Pan Bimbo. There's something else, Fernando. There's something else. Let's go mm. to Messi's end. Well, there's a guy who has all, a lot of tattoos. His hair is long and he's really strong. Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic. Uh -huh. Ibrahimovic. He's doing something, I think, for marketing, I will say. And Neymar, I think Neymar was doing the same thing. Children. UNICEF. Mm, UNICEF. Ah, yes. They, they, it's like a flag, you know, they use to support kids and all that kind of stuff, right? Or getting getting married to a famous celebrity. <laughs> Who got married with Shakira? Uh, Piqué. Oh. Piqué. Piqué, Piqué went Piqué. famous. I mean, he went famous when he got married. <laughs> you see, yes. oh. All those things. Do you think that's branding? That's marketing? Yes. Yes, that's personal branding. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Okay. What do you want your personal brand to convey? What does Messi convey to their fans? And what does Cristiano convey? What's the first Entertainment. thing? Entertainment. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's that's what you perceive when you see for uh, when you see Messi or when you see Cristiano. Mm. For, for some people, admir admiration, 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 yes, admiration. admiration. Okay, you admire them. Okay, inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. discipline. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, and those are the adjectives that people. Uh, use when they see them, right? Okay, you see, as simple as that. So let's go in groups. This first stage is about building a product branding and a personal branding. As simple as we just did, keep it simple, but use a national product that you know on the product branding, okay? And if, okay. if you know any national personal branding like mm -hmm. this bold guy what's his name um i i don't like him at all but i can't remember omar, omar? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's a very clear example of national 
<laughs> Personal friend. Chocolito. Repuesto, Omar. Chocolito. No, but that's not from Omar Angulo. Repuesto Omar is just a company, actually. Okay. Let's let's see if Irwin talks about his personal branding. I like to hear that. Okay. Personal branding. <laughs> well, we can hear you. Okay. Let's let's. Personal branding depends. It's too 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 mean. Too many. To sell with other person, to life with other person, and the other meaning is uh, how would you feel in your work. Mm. Yeah. Actually, not in this context. I think you're you're talking about brand engagement. What we said before how engaged you are with the brand. No, in this case is when you are, when you are a brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk in groups, come up with a little exposition, okay? Good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone. Cecilia, me puchica, mamá, estoy en clase, me dijo, me picaba María. El puñito le saqué nada más y ya sabe. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys, let's work on this. Do you have any questions about your task, what you're going to do? I guess that we are going to create a company or problem. Go to page 26, number six on page 26. Look at the two sets of questions to guide the branding process of a company or a person. Okay, so decide upon a, a known product by the whole group, a product that you are familiar with, national product. Or service, right? Yeah. And then okay. you can answer the guiding questions. Okay. And then you go with a personal brand too. If possible, if you find a national brand. Hey, um, how do you call this guy? What's the name of this guy? Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres, right? It's a good idea. Sure, but, uh, what is the difference between a company, a personal brand is a person that, like a, like a YouTuber. Exactly, maybe. exactly. Very good. Actually, Jose YouTuber. Jose YouTuber, yeah. Um, these other guys. Marcelo Larín. No, 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 the guy that passed away. The guy that passed away, um, oh, he used to make cartoons. Was so funny. Mm, I've seen some. No, 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 it's national. Mm -hmm. well, uh, there is a flower here, but I don't know what it's War, war um, oh my God. Come on, William, what's his name? War. I know, but. I don't you're, know who you remember you know, what's his name? name. War, yeah. war. What, what, what? I can't remember. It's something with war. Okay, that's the point. Yeah, it's a person or a YouTuber could be a great example too. Okay. Okay. Have the conversation. Go ahead. Okay. 
Maybe what? get confident, right? Confident. Get confident to the people or um, um, the afraid. The afraid. Thursdays with cheros. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? Um, Cadejo. <laughs> Cadejo. Uh, really? Yeah. Gallo. Aha, uh -huh. Cadejo Gallo Premio. You know about that. No. Okay, Cadejo Gallo. What about Toña? Bison. I don't know. Um, tell, um, I don't know this. We can easily find it here. In the super selector, yes. Really? Yes. And in the. I, I was thinking about. Um, Corona. One, no, yeah, maybe not, but the other one, that this green bottle. No Suprema, it's another one. I don't remember Gordon. the name. No. It's another. Santa oh. Cruz? Michelov? Something. Corona? No. Smirnov? No. It's It's a green bottle. A green bottle. Golden, yeah. Suprema. No. It's, it's, it's for another Santa country. Cruz. It's, no, but but the Santa Cruz, the same person with another package. <laughs> I don't know. I so... don't remember. Ah, uh, Heineken. Are, are toys, no, the Heineken. No. Well, it could be the Heineken, but the Heineken is is, is stronger than Pilsner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't remember, but choose. Okay, um, Tonya. Anything. Yeah, La Tonya. <laughs> okay. Next. What is the uh, primary message that you want to convey to our customers? Um, happiness. Share with your friends. Yeah, friendship. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Summer. Good moment. <laughs> yeah, good moments. Relax. Um, <laughs> by the way, teacher, we, we have to do only for the product or a, a personal branding too. Um, both. Yes, it's a national uh, product, a national business, and okay. then go with a personal brand. Uh, many of your classmates were talking about YouTubers, about national celebrities like the Tenchis, for example. Luisito. Oh, no, Luisito, Luisito is Ar <laughs> he's Argentinian. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good example. I mean, YouTubers are becoming. Ah, oh, Fernan Flo. But who, who, yeah, Fernan Flo. But I think Fernan Flo has some sort of nostalgic. He's making something called nostalgic marketing. He's taking advantage of nostalgic marketing and that is a new trend mm -hmm. of marketing i mean he he created the, you can talk about this he just created a new trend of nostalgia in, in marketing you know where he um he was not in the market anymore he ran out of business let's say as a personal brand but later the kids that used to watch him long some years ago <laughs> They ask him to return to the business, you know, come back, come back. And and they and he's trying again. He's trying to emerge from where he was. So based with the nostalgia, you know, of his first YouTube videos, which were very good, actually, very funny. So that, that's a good point. You got it. And you have so many other examples. Como esta canción patria querida. Oh, yeah. Mm. Alvaro. What happens, what happens when your personal brand doesn't succeed in your country? 
It's a great story. Okay. Keep it up. Imperio <laughs> Usa. Yeah, Imperio is a competitor for uh for the Prison Moda. And Simon, um and here and and he, in, in Santa Ana, for example, no uh, there are maybe bomba. No. Yeah, maybe that's correct. El bomba. Does it still yeah. exist? Is there still a bomba store? Yeah. Yes. What in Plaza Merleau? Multi Plaza? No, no in Santa Ana, teacher. In Santa Ana. Yeah. Oh. And Are I you... I knew Fray Felipe. I can remember. I can remember my hometown. Yeah. You're from Santa Ana, right, Elvin? Yeah. Wendy well, too. Wendy? Me too. Wendy too. You too? Yeah. yeah. Did you go to INSA, guys, by any chance? Elvin and I, uh, ha, we have a, a partners in the company. Yeah. That, that went to INSA or went? In, in what is my partner? What's my partner, Wendy? Uh, INSA, no, I, I, I didn't yeah. study in INSA. All oh, right. And you, Wendy? No, I study in Capitan General Gerardo Barrios. In Barrios. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, Elvin went to Bautista, maybe, right? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a face, the rich face. <laughs> oh, so then you went to La El San Luis. No, no, no. Hey, I, I, I don't have money. <laughs> I, go, I went to... I, I studied uh, to La Esperanza Bachillerato. <laughs> you went to Bachillerato in Esperanza, really? Yeah. I don't know. And, and then in, and you in university uh, went to uh, Unicares. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. I moved in 1998 when I graduated from ninth ninth grade in Linza. 1998, oh, yeah. yeah. Long time ago. What about you, Andres? Are you you're in San Salvador, right? No, Chalate. In Chalate, really? Uh -huh. yeah. Man. And mm -hmm. isn't it amazing what internet does? It's really good. Okay, okay. I don't know about Chalate. <laughs> is it where where is it? What the that's a department, right? Chalatenango? It's one of yes. the 14 departments. Okay. Okay, okay. How is okay. it? How is it? Is it compared to what do you compare it with? With a Wachapan or uh, maybe, maybe it's possible. Looks mm -hmm. like is it hot? Mm, no, some sometimes of the year mm -hmm. is fresh. Uh -huh. Awesome. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm not going to interrupt. I'm sorry. Who are you? Sure. Yeah. Uh, is correct that we can use uh, the original uh, mark. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the original logo. The, for example, we did, we choose uh, Prisma, Prisma Moda, uh -huh. but we yeah. can no. Nah, let's not add the the uh, images. For example, we, that, that's we good. Can, Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's prevent future issues. Okay. So let's see what problems, what problem do you solve for your customers? Variability options, variable, um, variety, variety of options. Oh. By, by variety. Variety. Oh, Ouch. Variety of options. Okay. Variety. It's written. There you go. Variety of options. Variedad de opciones. Okay. Um, it's written variety. Variety. Um, different products. Problem. Uh, you solve. Huh. Price, 
you solve the price problem? Yeah, because uh, uh can resolve the price because uh, example gives different offer, uh, so different another uh, company or, or the competitor, the price is necessary uh, is le less because uh, the customer always uh, buy uh, the mayor price. I think all the company is the first uh, problem can resolve for the customer the price. Look at that. We avoid you fooling around looking for the lowest price. We got it. Okay. Te evitamos andar pasmayando buscando el precio más barato. Lo tenemos. No sé yeah. cómo traducir fooling around. <laughs> fooling around es como ajá, vitrineando, pasmayando, como decimos un buen salvareño. ¿eh? Yeah. Cuatro horas después, ay, volvés al mismo lugar en el que estuviste de primero. Estaba más barato ahí. ¿eh? <laughs> Ups. <laughs> y ya no lo tenemos, ya se nos fue todo. Ay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, yeah, you, got, so, you got the idea. So that's what they're doing. You're you're solving a huge problem. If you're giving the best price, you're solving a great problem. Okay, keep it up. Great job. Okay. And the next uh we work we work only for the customer. The cost mm -hmm. is only the customer will be happy in the business, only that. This is my uh, own, own goals. Yeah, mm. because I am a, I am an administration administrator of empresas. You are administrator man. Business administrator. Business administration. Business administration. No. In, in, in Spanish, it's so difficult. Uh, the traduction is a administrator of empresas. Okay. This is my, this is my professional, but I specialty in marketing. Because when I study marketing managers ago, marketing is so different than now. Good it was. It was so different. It was, it was so different than now. Perfect. So different. Yes. And uh, this is my work. Okay. Excellent. All is real. Okay. In the moment, it's so happy. Okay. But when I began, it's so difficult. Wow, so difficult. I don't want to remember. Yeah. No question? No. Uh, it's clear but, but, for me. But, but when I began in my life, I began how salesman. Okay. I was a salesman all the time. Salesman. salesman. Uh, where do you work before before starting your business? Oops, I had a problem, a big problem with the with my boss. My boss, the name is uh, Hugo Barrera, the Javali, Autodromo International Javali. I was the manager, mm -hmm. manager, but I had a good problem with, with my boss. A good problem. I worked here 15 years in that company but I had a problem with my boss and the seven years ago and the the, the autor Javali go down because I had different uh, planning strategic planning than my boss and he one day he angry by Erwin okay. I never I never think I never thought in the in the in my past that I will I, I will work with a company. I never thought, but then I needed for to eat. Yeah, I needed to eat. Necessity is the mother of invention. Yes, I began. If you study, if you study uh, marketing, if you study administration, this is. It's so important, but the most important in the life is that you want. You want to be 
free, you have to work hard. Financial free. free. Yes. This is the most important in the life mm -hmm. that you That's want. Right. That you want. Know that you study. I am a teacher too, but you have to be with the dream and work for your dream. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Yes, it's a mindset yes. What you want to achieve. Hey, sorry. Let's keep it up. Okay. You have to make an exposition all together about um, that topic. Are you ready? Have you chosen a product? Yes, yeah. the, the business yeah. of Erwin. Erwin in, 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 in business. Ear, hold on. We ear wins business. Ear wins business. Ear wins business. There you go. Thank you. Let, let me see. I, I, I would like to find a, a, some picture when I began the work, but I don't know what. Okay. Uh, so you have, you have guys, three minutes. You have three minutes to prepare that. Oops, three minutes. There no, but I, but I can, I, I can use it the, 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 the chair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will, show, I will use it. Make, make sure you're wearing a shirt. Okay. Okay, no problem. But I, but I have a problem with my, 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 my computer. <laughs> I, I, I didn't I, got it. Okay, they have to be decent pictures. Okay, here we go. I have the picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of picture, not at the beach. Okay. I am, I am an old man. Yeah. I am an old man. Ah, come on now. Okay, no. two minutes. Entre uno cerca. We're not done yet, teacher. I know, you're missing two minutes. Don't worry. You're still missing two minutes. Okay. Have you thought about a product? Yeah, we thought about Panaria Tecleña. They have grown during the last two years, I think. They went big. Mm -hmm. It's really good, more branches. Yeah. Before, man, in Santa Tecla used to be crazy, or is still their main brand. I remember I went like twice in my life there, but it was always crowded. There was always a lot of people buying food, not just bread, you know. Or cakes. Mm -hmm. Or cakes, or cakes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What about a personal brand? We haven't talked about it yet. Uh -oh. hmm. So we're going to expose both of them at the same time? Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. briefly uh, following the, the questions, guidelines. And remember, a, a personal brand uh, could be a um, YouTuber, a national um, character like Latenchis or, I don't know, Cocolito. What else? Alvaro Torres. I don't know. Who else? Who else? Oh, Willie Maldonado? Mm, is Willie a brand? Yeah, Willie is a brand. Yeah, he is. You know what? I saw him once, like 10 years ago, in the in the stoplight in La Bernal. And he was next to me on his car. And he said, <laughs> his face was like this. <laughs> I was like, hey, it's all right. <laughs> I was man his face is really big in person really? he's that kind of person like American American com complexity you know big mm -hmm. big jaw a big jaw and that's what makes him look like like a comic on TV but he is a brand because if you listen to the radio he still has some programs on 92.9 lesser Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love these programs. I mean, when he talks got, about mm -hmm. history, music history. Yeah, he's got a, how do you say, peculiar? A very unique. Peculiar. Unique. Unique voice. Oh. Hmm. Yes, it's his tone of voice is what is good on him. And not just that, you know, his charisma, the way he speaks mm -hmm. is different. If you compare him with El Gordo Max, by mm -hmm. the way, did he pass away? Yeah, he did. He Passed did, away. right? Yeah. This year. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's true. Man, I forgot. Uh, 
I, yesterday I was listening to the radio and I was looking for Ciento Dos Nueve because I liked his show, you know, with classic music. Mm -hmm. I never, I didn't think about his passing away. And, oh my God, I forgot. Uh, he was guy. really funny. Yeah, he was funny. He was mm -hmm. really funny. He made up some words for Salvadorians. For example? I, I can't remember. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh my God, Jocelyn, help me. Volado? No, wait. Yeah, that word, he made it famous. Ese volado. Um, I just remember the tigre or something he used to say. <laughs> something <laughs> like so, that. Huele a tigre. <laughs> Huele a tigre. That, it's one of them. Yeah, so many. I mean, that was his characteristic. He used to be very acquaintance with the Salvadorian culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'll give you two more minutes. Sorry. Thank you. Keep it up. Five, five, five. Five, okay. Just five. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is the adjective do you want? People associate. To associate with you. Cadiz. Yeah. Verdad? Yeah. Cadiz. Here in El Salvador, I think uh, playing in fast, I guess. The Michael? Yes. Hay una academia, ¿no? Academy de fútbol por el que lleva el nombre o no. No existe. Mm. De estadio. Where else? Just we have two up to the series only. <laughs> yeah. Uh but I, I like I like the series um, yeah. the series has uh, let me see around 70 chapters it's a lot yeah but it's so interesting mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. What is that? Um, <laughs> dogs. I, is the person I think there are dog? my two dogs. <laughs> there. there are fighting. They are fighting. <laughs> yeah. Fighting over a bone. No. She'll grab. You she'll grab their mouth and make some music. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the TikToks, right? <laughs> it's crazy nowadays. Okay, let's go oh. back so you can start the expositions. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Everybody was so focused, working under thingy, working under expositions. 
So today we're going to start yeah, from one to five. OK. Um, you know what? Let's make this a little bit more democratic. I'm just waiting for your classmates. Five, four, three, two, one. Here they come. Okay, we are 18 tonight. So, Sandra, Elizabeth, give me a number between one and five. Four. Number four. Oh, good. Irwin, Fernando, <laughs> Elena, and Sandra. Okay. Okay, it's your turn then, yourself. Okay, you can start your presentation. Remember, it's just following the questions on page 26, describing a product and a personal brand. Go ahead, hold yeah. yours. Okay, I, I begin? Yes. Can, okay. It's so easy, uh, so easy to explain about the what company and the brand. The company has many brands, but I have a company, an enterprise. I explain so, so I try to explain so fast. Okay, let me a moment, please. I have a problem with this. Okay, uh, oops, I can see this one. Let me a moment, please. Okay, let me a moment, please. I don't know what happened. Okay. Can you change? I, this is my, when I began, this is my, my last house that I have a house many years ago. And now I have my company in that I can fight. Like, let me a moment, please. Like, uh, leave me a moment, please. Okay. I did this mark for a motorcycle in that moment. Okay, and teacher, I can, let me let me a moment, please. Teacher, only give me a few minutes. Please. Yes, go ahead. Take your time. Yes, we're waiting for because, you. Can share the you can share the screen whenever you're ready. Okay, I can. You can. So let me see. Let me a moment, please. Let me a moment, please. Sure, only sure. A moment. <laughs> In share the moment or not share? Yes, go ahead. You can share it. Let me a moment, please. It's okay. You know what? To give you to give you a few minutes, um, Irwin, yes. give I'm, me go I'm gonna minutes, yeah, I'm gonna do the attendance while you get ready. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna do the attendance, guys, while your classmates gets ready. Um, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Arcides. I'm sorry. Irwin Lado, Lagos Andrade. God. Sorry. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernández. Come on, guys. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Yes. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. 
Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Okay. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Daniel Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Irwin, we are ready for you whenever you are. Okay, perfect. Uh, can I show? Okay. Uh, this is my business. You can show it? Can you see it? Yes, we can see you it. You can see it? Okay. Are this you kidding is... me? I was yeah. there. I was there on Saturday afternoon. Oh, Wait, okay. no, no, no. Friday. Friday afternoon, right there, right in that corner. Go ahead. What do you buy? I was looking for the starter engine. Oh, for your Volkswagen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is my local. I have a, the, this is all my business. I have five local. The five local, I rent four local. And the one local, this is my own business. No name because the business, my own business is La 29 Plaza. This is my own business. In that local, I sold, I sell battery. This is the battery that I sell. The advertising I use, you can show it, the internet, the social media marketing. You can show it, this one. This is my, that I, I spend with advertising. Yeah. In the month, 700. Okay, in the month. Okay, this is my 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 business. The, the I have one locker that I sell battery with low with the low price and with the high performance. And all my person work only the one goals. The customer will be happy in the local. Okay, but I have other business. This is the other business. This is, I sell battery motorcycle. In the motorcycle, I buy, I buy the battery from China. The, the brand is our brand. Yeah. And this is a five years ago. And I have the, about the customer think about my brand. You can show it. All the person say that is a good brand. Because I try to, to find a good uh, a good factory in China, and this is my work. And uh, I began many years ago, and we have a two gold that high performance and uh, good with the uh, be happy the customer. In my work, I we have a three person and me four person. And we are the similar goals. I am, I, I am, the, I am the boss, but I, I use the, the similar uniform than my personal. Yeah. Okay, thank this you, is... Erwin. Yeah, that was amazing. Just keep in mind what Erwin just said. We all think the same way um, in our job. My employees and I, we wear the same uniform you know we are the same in the company we have the same in mind the same goal just keep that in mind guys about what we're about to see hey man yes. congratulations um okay i try to i try to 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 work well with the with the customer i try i try but in in i have problems with the internet because i don't i know how to change that that I can show it in the, in the, in the front. I don't worry. See. Don't worry, yeah. but you made it. You made it. I congratulate yeah. you because you are going through social media with this. I will oh, recommend okay. you. I will recommend you if I can give you an advice. Pay. Yeah. Pay for publicity. I pay. I pay. You pay, you pay for publicity. Yes. This is when, when, I, when I began. No way. Yeah. I, I know that this, place. Yeah. yeah. Seven years ago, I began. I built I remember that place. Yeah, I built it here. The, the home. Yeah. That's amazing. It is similar. If you saw it, it is a similar. Yeah, it is similar. Yeah. But it's a, the new... The, the, ah, me. I am a salesman. <laughs> yeah. I, 
I have a price, price description, the product, on time, communication. Yeah? yeah, because I use it to the marketplace. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, this is the this is my work. Uh, I try to 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 work hard. I love my work. Um, this is that the the company. Awesome. Uh, I want to say uh, think for the group for to to explain about something about my life. This is my my work. Yeah, that's an awesome job. Thank you, thank you. We want to plus right win. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> okay, great, Irwin. Give me a number between one and five, Irwin. Uh, five. Five. Alexander, Heidi, Roberto, and Jocelyn. Okay, I'm going to share. But, uh, can I? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. My team is going to explain about it. I just a uh, designer. Ay, come on. <laughs> so go ahead. Jocelyn and Heidi. Okay, I guess I should do it because nobody <laughs> says something, okay? <laughs> well, good evening to all of you. Okay, we choose uh, the Clean Bakery. As you know, this is a business here in our country and it's growing so fast. I hear about the history and as you know, the lemmas then is, uh, sorry, the what they say, they mention uh, a little piece of tecla for everyone. Really? And yes, a un pedacito de tecla. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. In Spanish, yes. Mm -hmm. And as you know, this is a bakery, but they don't just sell bakery. They sell many things like food, eh, cakes. Uh, telling about what does our business or the product do is that satisfy the customer celebration needs. Uh, can you help me, Alexander, to the next one? Okay. What problem do you solve for your, customer, your customers is that we provide the best pay for a birthday celebration? Mm. Next. Thank you. Okay, uh, the three main competitors, uh, we were talking about that the first one is Lidl because it's, this is another uh, a national product that is one of the oldest, we can say, and Bon Bon, Bam Bam too. Uh, the next, please. What is the primary message you want to convey to your customer? Enjoy and celebrate the life. Next. Okay, what are the five adjectives word that the best describe the company? The quality, because it's one of the best bakeries. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best in San Martin too. Okay, uh, best prices. I guess that is uh, not expensive, not cheap, but is a, a corporate right. price. Okay, best customer service. They are they provide very customer good customer service. Engage and encourage. And what, do, what do you mean by encouraged? Sorry. What do you mean by encouraged? Um, you can say it. or convey the feelings mm -hmm. in every oh, okay. yeah okay and this is That's there. Fair enough. thank you <laughs> okay la tecleña okay yeah they i was telling you guys when you i saw your presentation that they have been with 
uh, for many years in El Salvador, right? In Santa Tecla, but for the last two years, they started growing. They have one in Metro Centro, uh, that is one that is very crowded. Everywhere, Every in the metropolis, in the metropolis, there, there's one, two here in Mexicanos. I mean, they have grown a lot, that's true. A bakery okay. is in, in front of my, when, when I work, when I work, where you work, in my place of work. Awesome, your workplace, awesome. Okay. I heard this is a family business that uh, the mother started and, and then they sent uh, their kid to study to France, how to make cakes. Wow. And when they came back, they designed a new, new cakes. I didn't know that. Very nice business. That sounds good. Okay, yeah, because the other one with pink and white has their mm -hmm. quality, their quality has been reduced mm -hmm. lately. I don't know, maybe industri industrialization on a so simple product sometimes is negative. The taste, the flavor of things change when you put but when you bring everything into automation, you know, automatically producing everything, that changes the flavor. Totally. Good job. Okay. You know, um, I, th I think they, mm -hmm. what's cool from them is that they, uh, they, they bring innovation. They can print a picture on a cake. That's very nice. Do you think they did it? Different they, logos? Yeah. I they were the them. ones like the... Um, Oh, how do you call this? They, they, for, for example, you take a picture you want to print on print on a cake and they do it. They were pioneers. They were pioneers on printing the images. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. eatable paper, eatable paper. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Okay, okay, good job. I think next team is gonna be, so we said already team number four. Team number five, who is next? Um, Jocelyn. Number one. Number one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna close with number one. Ada, Josue, Yuri, and William. Okay, Ada, Josue, Yuri, and William. Okay, I'm going to sh share the, the, the presentation. I guess I almost lost. <laughs> Let me see, share screen. Can you see the presentation? Yep. Okay, we was talking about person, person brand. And for us was, um, let me see what happened here. Um, what service do you have to afford? Oh, sorry. What, ser what service do you have to offer to people? Entertainment, we are talking about uh, uh, football. I don't know what is the correct way. <laughs> a, a, football, a soccer player? Soccer player, I'm sorry. Who soccer is it, Magico Gonzalez? Magico Gonzalez. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, what is the service do you have to offer the people? Entertainment? And what do you, what do you, that make your stand up from everyone, everyone else, skillful, constant, efficient. And what are you bring biggest competitor and what are they doing to brand themselves? Maradona and Pelé. And what, what do you want your personal brand to convey? Improvement, dedication, effort, discipline. And what adjective do you do you want people to associate with you as a product and any? And and why? 
Cadiz, Stadium, Talent, Dreamer, Charismatic. That's it. Okay, don't, don't stop sharing, don't stop sharing. Can you go back? I think you have chosen a very good example of personal branding. I mean, how long have you seen um, Magicos as a as a well-known personal brand in El Salvador? Me, at least, uh, for during the last five years, it's been like a very renowned product. You know, ever since they changed, ever since they changed the name of Estadio Flor Blanca to Estadio Magico Gonzalez. Do we all agree? Uh, I think uh, Maradona, uh, the Magico is more is famous in Spain than El Salvador. More famous in Spain than El Salvador. Than they, El Salvador. They, they, they feel they, I saw a, a video about what they think about the Magico Gonzalez and they think. There's a they, statue, there's a statue in Cadiz, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is uh, special for that people. Okay, so let's analyze this, guys. Um, the service that he offers, what kind of, uh, what do you have to offer to people? Entertainment, nowadays, nowadays, in Mexico Gonzalez, as a brand, what is he offering? Come on. Yeah. Soccer fans, Fernando, William, Drugs. Elvin, Alexander, come on. Drugs. Yo, Fernando, <laughs> he doesn't sell. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. I thought. You, everybody thought about it. Okay. Fair. With. Uh, he offers nostalgic. <laughs> nostalgic. Homesick. Nostalgic. He, homesick. You get homesick. Okay. I don't know. Entertainment. He's part of the national entertainment. Okay. What else? Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, Michael Gonzalez was in discipline. There are problems. Mm -hmm. all, all the time, this is a problem in your career. In his he, career? He, yeah, in his career. Lack she, of discipline. She is indisciplinary. <laughs> but what has he offered or what is he offering as a national brand, as a personal the brand? The legacy to the new generation is teacher. Okay, that's the message that he conveys. Yeah. That's, so, is the Magico Gonzalez is considered for the la IFFI age best the, of the 20th century? Okay, he's one of the best of the 20th century. Okay, so let's leave it there. He is. He offers an, an emblem. Let's say. I mean, he's a message to youngsters on what they can do. Next slide, please. <laughs> Very quick, let's move on, move through this. What do, you, what do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? Yes, this is true. He was, he was skillful, constant, efficient, but not disciplined. As Elvin was saying, he didn't have discipline. He was skillful. Okay, and so on, right? Efficient, yes. Next slide, I'm, yo sigo moviendo, tratando de mover the slide, I'm sorry. Who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? Aquí sí me, no, I, I disagree, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't know, um, what do you say, guys? Who's the competitor? Remember, brand, personal brand. In their, their international market, this is a good example. Maradona is dead, right? No? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he passed away yeah. last year. Pele? No. Pele is alive, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's say these three guys 
are a clear example of what happens when you get retired. When you get retired as an idol, I mean, everybody thought you were an idol, you go out of business. Now, one question for you. Do they have a line of product? Yeah, Bracos. Bracos belong to, to uh, <laughs> Mexico? Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they, they, uh, Mexico received uh, loyalty with that brand. There you go. There you go. So he receives a benefit, let's say, mm -hmm. some earnings from that brand, from, mm -hmm. from Bracos. Yes. Okay. Very good. So he's a personal image. There's a clear example of what a personal branding is. Okay, thank you, Jury. I think that the next slide, I mean, oh, oh, what do you want your personal brand to convey? I have a question for you, for all of you. Does Mexico convey this improvement, dedication, effort, discipline? Oh, not at all. No, why? He's not disciplined person. Okay, let's leave it there. He's not disciplined. Did he dedicate his life for to be the best pl soccer player? Um, dedication? No, no. because he was in discipline. Uh, they are stick together. They didn't stick together. Okay, so yeah, I agree with you. I mean, something happened along the way and he stopped being the best. Totally. Um, thank you very much, Yuri. You can stop sharing. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Chicos, les voy a pedir, por favor, que apaguen su micrófono, solo si van a participar, que lo enciendan, please. Está escuchando a Canelo pelear con la Fanny por ahí. Ok. Who let the dog out? Ok, good, Andrés. Ok. Guys, um, there's something very interesting that we're going to study right now. I'll send you a, an image to your WhatsApp right now. So we can continue with the class, but this is called an infographic. Once you open it, you will be able to see it huge. And actually I'll send you the link to the infographic because it's really big. It is a very big image. So you can open it and resize it the way I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, I love this. This this is an infographic, uh, Irwin. Nowadays, is Irwin around? She's still here. Yes, yeah, I, I saw you. I saw you. Hey, look, buddy. This is a new way of uh, marketing. Let's say uh, a way of going with marketing. You can build infographics with your brand. Okay, you can find infographics about products everybody's going with infographics actually nowadays have you seen them everybody no. so graphics yes yeah. uh, when i start start studied in, uh -huh. in the, the university i i course uh uh a I don't know. course uh -huh. or name you it took, that you way. Took, you took a course. Yes. I okay. Course. I can find the one. Oh, here it is. Look, look at this image. I just want to show you really quick something very funny. I mean, it's it's amazing how you can just open this image and go through a lot of information in just one image. All the information Peter, you can stick to you, one image. You, you can make in Canva. Yes, you can use Canvas to make that. It's very useful. Okay, so let's go back to what we are talking about here. Five components of strong branding. I need your help to read. Um, who wants to read? You can either do it on the image on the WhatsApp or looking at the screen. Uh, number one, have a clear why. 
Thank you, Saleva. <laughs> Uh, have a clear why. Before you can create a successful brand, you need a strong why. What do you believe in? Great branded companies start with their why. The why engages us emotionally while the what and how serve as the evidence of the belief. Okay. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Simon. Listen to that, Simon Sinek. If you don't know who's Simon Sinek, go to YouTube and listen to his conferences. It's very good. Uh, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. They buy why you do it. Can somebody explain this to me with an example? It's very simple. I mean, it sounds crazy, right? But let me give you an example. You want to build a gate for your house. Un portón, okay? A gate for your house. You know, two people that are very good and what they do, they're very good welders. You have two very known, well, good welders, okay? So one of them has a big company already. He has a big company. He makes a lot of money. And he goes to your house on a Toyota Tundra. He gets to your house on a Toyota Tundra. Okay, the second option is a very humble, is a very humble man who is 70 years old. This guy is 70 years old and he gets to your house on a very old, a 1982 Toyota Tercel pickup, a Toyota pickup, okay? Who will you hire? Who would you hire to build your porton, your gate? <laughs> Come Maybe on. Maybe the old man. Why? Maybe the old man because uh, uh, he has enough experience, knowledge. Oh, experience. Know how? Knowledge. Yes, so. He has the know how is very important. Know how he has know how, but in this but context, in this context, uh huh. But how you know if the person only who is twenty years old he has enough experience? Uh, you know because you need to know about a background. Because, Their background, huh? Yeah, because he can start the business two years ago. Do you know? You mean he's an engineer, an architect, he's good. Yeah, I said both are good. Both of them are good. But judging, judging a book by its cover, would you choose a yeah. humble person or someone who is very pretentious, very arrogant? And as Luis Ernesto said, experience. Why? Do they do what they do? Why do they work so hard? And who works harder? Who works harder, the old man or the young guy? It's logic. Who has the best car? <laughs> who has the best car works harder? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, Rick, but the point is the why. Why do you do what you do in your business? Well, maybe I have five children, okay? I'm 70. What did I say? I'm over 70 years old, you know, yeah. but I do what I do because I need the job. I have five children, right? Okay. Now, continue. All of your advertising should start with your why. Explain why you do what you do. Then explain how you do it. 
And finally, what is it that you do? Okay, why do you do what you do? We are a family of welders that has been on the market for over 40 years. We love building things because it's an art how you do it. It's an art for us, okay? And finally, what is it that you do? We build everything related to metal works. It's an art for us. And that's what you do. That's what we do. How we do it, we do, we do it with passion. We do it with love. So then marketing goes about, everyone knows what you do. Everyone knows how, do you, how you do it. And everybody knows how to explain why you do it. So you become familiarized. You become engaged with this feeling of, you know, a family business. Have that, has that happened to you? Have you ever been there when you see a business and you go like, man, that's a family business? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Jocelyn, uh, go with the next part, please. The goal. The goal is not to do business with people who want what you have. The goal is to do business with people who believe in what you believe. Oh, Irwin, are you paying attention to that? Look at that. 64% of people cite shared values as the main reason they have a relationship with a brand. So if you're, can you picture this? If your clients, your customers feel the way you feel, they will always buy from you. They know that you're a family business. They know that you are good on what you do. Let me give you an example. Yesterday, I received a call from my father, who is selling tortillas in Santa Ana. And he was so happy because he's about to buy a tolba. You know what is a tolba? Where they milled the corn and they produced the mass for the tortillas. Yeah. So he was so excited. And he called me because he was, he was lacking $100. He was missing $100. He was like, okay, can you lend me the, five, the $100? And I was like, eh, yeah, okay. But why? What, what are you doing, right? I wanted to know. Oh, you have no idea. I'm growing, he said. And you know why, he said? People is buying more from me. But he didn't know why. And I started making questions, right? What, what are you doing? Why did you sell? Listen to this. Why did you sell over $100? in tortillas on Saturday and the rest of the days you sell $80, $70 in tortillas a day. What made the difference? And he explained it. Now, why do they love your tortillas? Oh, because of the way I produce them. They are so white, you know, and he's planning to add color, you know, green tortillas, red tortillas in the United States is very common. So, People knows my father uh, for so many years, and I'm going to work on this with him. I'm going to work on his branding. I'm going to work on his branding next week because he doesn't know what to name. He, he doesn't have a name for his product, but everybody buys tortillas from him because they, they know his story. They know that he has two kids, you know, that he's over 60 years mm -hmm. old. And he's there every day selling tortillas. He's fighting, right? So everybody buys from him. They feel, um, they feel identified with the values of this man. Do you see? Will you do that, Fernando? Will you buy from someone you feel identified with? Yes, of course. Okay. Has that ever happened to you guys? Have you ever feel like, man? This guy I relate. Good. You relate to it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So people buy from you because they believe what you believe. They believe what you believe. Good job. 
a clear brand promise. Fernando, can you continue? Okay. Uh, what is your company's creed? Uh, what is the overall message you pass to your customer and employees? Uh, make sure your company delivers on uh, what you say you will. If you are not actually delivering or your brand promise, you're losing brand loyalty. 45% of a brand's image can be attributed to what it says and how it says it. Okay, to what it says. A clear example, your favorite brand, Fernando. My favorite brand is, is hard, very hard. Apple. Apple, yes, maybe could be my favorite, my favorite brand. Okay. <laughs> I I I work, I work uh, uh, every day with uh, Apple products. Okay, but what happens on their conferences? Steve Jobs was a master of presentations, right? Yes. Every time they came up with a new iPhone, a new iPad, a new i, whatever, <laughs> um, he used to make a presentation that used to promise many things a lot of things Did yes, they, they, and they, they always prepare, they prepare a good presentation every every time that they uh, will will present a new product and for it, example uh, a, a week ago around they present uh the new macbook pro the new macbook pro max and today for example was released the, the new mac os so all the features, the, the operating system and the new products uh, are merged for, for a new, uh, they, they uh, always uh, will promise a new, a new futures, new user experience with, this, with their products. Now, do they comply with what they say? Yes, Sorry, but... They, they... Yes, but... They, they, they say put, it's going to have four cameras. Yes, the, 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 their expectations are so high. So when when they present that that futures, uh, we they, they promise a, a lot of things. But when the the, the products uh, are launch launching on the market, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the 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 person that that. Uh, uh, does the reviews, uh, for example, they they show the, the reality for for these products. Mm -hmm. Maybe in, if you if you can if you want to 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 get to give a per, a percentage, for example, the eighty percent maybe is true, but the the other is sometimes mm, some things are not true. And that's dangerous, you know, that's what it says. Make sure your company delivers on what you say you will. If you are not actually delivering on your brand promise, you're losing brand loyalty. And that's dangerous. I mean, you can lose a lot of customers if you um, are not careful with that. Okay, a clear target market. I'm gonna move on guys, I'm a clear target market. Customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. Customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. Who is your ideal target? Who is your ideal customer? Your audience is not everyone. You need to have a target audience. For every believer, there is a non-believer. Listen to that. For every believer, there is a non-believer. The best way to figure out who they are is to create buyer personas for your company. In other words, identify who is your target market, who loves your product. And we already talked about that in the previous module and in this at the beginning of this module, how to study and define your niche of market, right? Your non-believers, your non-believers help you identify who you are not. Set yourself apart from your competition. So why? Because non-believers, if someone doesn't believe in your product, 
will compare you to others. They will simply compare you to other, to other companies. But who believes in your product, in your brand, will find the best of your product and will let you know, hey, I love how this works, you know, it's very convenient for me. Continue, continue being convenient. It's very important. Um, my mouth. Um, Luis Ernesto, keep going, please. Clear branding and design consistency. Clear branding and design consistency. Uh, don't think of consistency is um, as begin boring if you are using a constant voice. Logo imaginary. Imagery. Mm -hmm. Imagery, sorry. Brand promise and colors you are making your brand easily recognized. Think of famous brand and their consistently Apple, McDonald, Coca Cola, Cedar. 71% of marketers report using visual assets as a part of their content marketing strategy. Okay, the human v visual assets, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you, Luis. Uh, just one thing that you mentioned here, you're making your brand easily recognizable, recognizable. I'm sorry. Yes. So, well, it's okay. Think of famous brands and their consistency, their consistency. Okay, I told you yesterday, Apple, come on, an apple, a bit an apple, you see a bit of apple in the street and on the floor. You think about apple. McDonald's. What are the colors of McDonald's? One, two, three. You got it. What's their Orange. symbol? What's their symbol? M. M. Uh, yellow M. M. Right. It's crazy. I mean, that's on our brain already. Okay. The human brain can process images about 60,000 times faster than it processes words. So uh, have you heard this? Or have you ever said, I love images, you know, I learned by seeing what I have to do. I, le I learned watching images. Teacher, it's just that I learn English better watching a movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because your brain processes images faster than the words. Average users spend about 10 seconds on a website before deciding if they are interested in sticking around or not. These initial 10 seconds are made entirely of visual first impression. Have you ever heard the saying, who, who is a seller here? If you sell something, have you heard that you only have 10 seconds to convince your customer? During the first second, if, if you say something wrong, you lost the sale. You just lost the guy. You're done. Okay. Color increases brand recognition by up to 80%. Uh, I don't know. Think about an, uh, a product which brand is like gray. Can you think of a product with gray on their color? Yeah. I don't know, no, right? Uh, what about red on their colors? A brand with red on their colors? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, right? The first thing you come up with. Uh, what about green? Something with green. Go green. Uh, the Chepinito. Go, go, go green. Go the Chepinito. <laughs> right. Chepinito, what? Wait. Yeah, and Pino. <laughs> those pinos, right? Oh, leche pinitos was saying Fernando. Okay, pinitos milk. Okay, leche. I'm sorry, I'm in I'm in English right now. <laughs> <laughs> no okay, not a problem. Okay, so and so on, right? Colors, colors uh, bring up memories for you. A company's logo is the visual representation of their brand, so it had better be. A damn good one. I'll leave you that as a homework. What does it say there? So it had better be a damn good one. A very, you better have a good image, colorful, you know, to call out your 
customers. Clear marketing strategy, and this is our key element today, clear marketing strategy. 51% of business owners report that content management is very important or absolutely critical to creating a cohesive customer journey, cohesive customer journey. Understand that through the marketing strategy, who is going to suffer a nightmare or who is going to live a journey, an amazing journey, is your customer. It's not you. You're going to experience, you know, building the product and everything. And that's going to be excited for you, excitement for you. But afterwards, who is going to have the real feeling of satisfaction, of pleasure, or, or remorse is your customer. Alguien se perdió con lo que acabo de decir. Porque estaba, ex, estaba excited, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Estaba muy emocionado. I'm sorry. So, se lo digo porque quiero que les quede claro. Tú vas a, vas a hacer que tu cliente sufra, les decía, un infierno, o que vive el, el paraíso prácticamente a través de el proceso de mercadeo que vas a llevar a cabo. O sea, tú vas a experimentar muchísimo y vas a disfrutar creando tu producto uh, resaltando tu marca y todo pero al final quien realmente va a tener la experiencia con ese proceso de mercadeo va a ser tu cliente y él va a ser el que te va a juzgar so interesting right but it's a big responsibility just like Spider-Man a big responsibility 65% of people refers, prefers emails that contain mostly images versus 35% who prefer mostly text. Okay, 43% uh, of all markers uh, have found a customer via LinkedIn. Have you used LinkedIn? LinkedIn, I'm sorry, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I, yes. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I asked for that word because I, I heard link, LinkedIn and that is the Everybody, way that I do that. I do that. Everybody I was, I that. was pronouncing, pronouncing that, that word. Yeah, we, were, we mispronounced that word. Yeah. It says LinkedIn. 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 Okay. LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Marketers who prioritize blogging are 13 times more likely to archive a positive ROI. Who remembers what is ROI? What is ROI? <clears throat> uh -huh. Return of investment on their efforts. So we're talking about marketers nowadays. Irwin, Irwin was a marketer back in the days when he started his business, but nowadays marketers are web designers, okay? people who knows the social networks and they know how to push your product, okay? In the middle of the digital market. And so they know how to return the investment really quick for you. If you don't have a marketing strategy, how are you improving? Think through elements needed to strengthen your brand. Do you have a blog? Are you planning all five of these elements? Think through what your buyer personas are looking for. Okay, guys, this is not my material. This is this was made by Leighton Interactive Demand Results. And Simon Sinek is an amazing exposer. You can find him on YouTube. He speaks very well about different things. Social media is one of the things he criticizes a lot. So I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts. What was the favorite out of the five? The five components of strong brand. Hello, hello. Okay, everybody. Number one is have a clear why. What's number two? 
Clear brand promise. A clear brand promise. Brand promise. What are you promising? Right. Okay. Number three, a clear target market. A clear target market. That's very important too. Number four. Clear branding and design consistency. Hmm. And last, clear marketing, marketing strategy. strategy. Marketing strategy. Hey, this is very interesting, right? Because in the end, in other words, if you're clear on what you want, where you're going to, things are going to work smoothly, you know? Smooth operator, right? Smoothly. <laughs> right? Okay. Any any questions in any of the five stages? Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. Have you ever experienced any of these stages in your life with your company's product or a personal product that you may have used? No. Okay. No, teacher. Good. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, I hope you actually um, used that presentation. I found it very useful. Um, and it's very simple, guys. Marketing is essentially, and Irwin knows about this, essentially is playing with people's mind. And that's what they do with us <laughs> as consumers. They always play with our mind. I mean using colors specifically, is the psychology of the consumer. Psychology of the consumer. So yes, Johnny? Sure, um, it's something important the, uh, in the presentation mm -hmm. that had 10 seconds for convince the customer, but it's online or talking fake to fake. Anyway. I mean, if you're, if you're a salesperson, you know what, Johnny? Talking about image, that is why the first thing you learn as a salesperson is to dress up. Right, Johnny? Okay. If, okay. You, are, if you have a good presentation, <laughs> man, let's face it. In marketing, if you are ugly, I'm so sorry. You Sorry. better you better have a good voice. If you're ugly, you better have a good voice. If you you want... No, you really. Too expensive. The impression. <laughs> the first impression, Johnny, is amazing it's how it impressive. works. And don't don't believe me. Don't believe me. Go to El Escalon. There are some marketing uh, companies. If you do like if you were going to hire one of these marketing companies, you will only see beautiful women strong yeah. men strong men you know and they are the ones that work the sales they're the face of the company they don't hire old people like me they want <laughs> beautiful people okay that's the way it works marketing is first introduced by your eyes and secondly through your ears feelings convince me yes you have 10 seconds how do you sound? Okay. What do you say if I tell you, good morning, sir, how are you? Good morning. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> right. It's different, right? If I go with, I don't know, someone here. Hi, good evening. My name is, oh my God, right? You talking to me? That's the way, yeah. That's the way. You're totally right, Jenny. Y si funciona. Okay. okay, guys. Um, en telemercadeo, esos 10 segundos son críticos. Y en más en inglés. I'll talk to you about that later. Um, so, tonight, I got to stay with one of you. Teacher. Ah, chicos, antes de terminar la clase, se les ha enviado la invitación para realizar la encuesta de satisfacción. Yo creo que aquí todos ya estaban en algún módulo anterior. Recuerden que esa encuesta la hacemos cuando? At the end. The last day. The, last day. the very last day. Right. ¿Qué es lo que no tenés que hacer? Respond that. 
fill the pool along. Pues resulta que me contestan en inglés cuando les estoy hablando en español. Oh my God. <risa> Quiero que esto esté claro. Por favor, no vayan no. a contestar la, la encuesta. No la vayan a contestar hasta el último uh -huh. día de clase. La vamos a hacer en la clase. ¿Cuándo es el último día, teacher? I don't know. Eh, honestamente, sí. quiero ver es jueves 4 de noviembre. Tengo una duda, teacher. Tal vez usted sabe. Eh, Piense que a mí me dijeron de que posiblemente el otro módulo lo vamos a tener hasta en enero. A mí me dijeron que empezaba el 8. Eh, que sí cayó el correo, pero por lo menos a, 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 el de recursos humanos habló conmigo y me dijo que le habían explicado como que siempre íbamos a terminar y que uno no lo había pagado, tenía la, la empresa no tenía la planilla de septiembre y que al final como dice Ford no trabaja en diciembre según dicen que hasta en enero iba a ser el módulo 4 de intermedio sí pues Dios, Dios te oiga hijo y empecemos el 8 quiero ver yo quiero empezar el 8 pero 5, 10, 15, 20 25 estaríamos terminando el 10 de diciembre y nos reunimos para Navidad. <risa> okay. I don't know, Fer. Realmente, chicos, esos son temas administrativos, pero, pero sí, esperemos lo mejor, hombre. Empezamos positivos. Tal vez logramos sacar el, el intermedio 4 el siguiente mes. Eh, pónganse las pilas con los documentos. Si ya lo hicieron, pues bien. Esta noche, tonight, me quedaría con William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Day 25th, ¿ok? Hello, let me see. Yeah, William Alexander Ramírez Flores, lunes 25 de octubre, ¿ok? William. Sí, sí, pues yo me quedé la vez pasada por alguien más y ahora no puedo. Oh my God. I just can't Wait a minute. Let me go with Jocelyn Imelda. You're next tomorrow. Is that okay if we do it today? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. We're going to have a conversation. That's it. Okay, guys. Let me do the attendance and I'll see you tomorrow. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present, good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Danda Verde. Present, good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Arellana. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irene Susana Cuellar Albanez. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher, good, good night. night. Okay, okay. Good evening, Mrs. Rivas. How are you tonight? Good evening. Give me one second. Uh, so far, so good. Thanks for talk to me. Talk to me. You. How's the baby? Oh, the baby is good right now. Uh, she's waiting for me because she has not slept until I end the class. She doesn't go to sleep. She doesn't fall asleep until you finish your class. How old yeah, is she? she no. She waits for me. 
she is almost five. She will tour five on November next month. Oh my God, five years old. She's from 19, yes, 2016, 2016, 2016. Sorry? She's from 2016, November 2016? No, she's on November the 3rd. No, no, no. I mean, she was born on November yes. 2016. Wow. No, she was born on November the 3rd. November the 3rd? Yeah, but 2016, 2016. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's yeah, five sorry. years old. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> mm, you like to talk about it? How was your life before? How's your life now? What has been the most difficult thing to learn as a parent? Well, when I was young, I got a really good, uh, I was a really good guy girl when I was a teenager. Uh, I used to go out a lot, <laughs> believe me. When I was 18, my father told me, you know, you had the permission to do what you want to do. You can go out at night, you can hang out with friends, you can have boyfriends, if you want. So I say, okay, <laughs> but I didn't do it. When I was 19, I started the university and I met so many girls and you know what you know in the university. Different people, different top. So I started hanging out and my life was really nice. I used to go out a lot. I know many places. I still go out with now with my baby. Uh, when I got my baby, I was working at sites. It was really difficult because uh, uh, your life changed completely, as you know. And yes, and I start raising my girl and I say to my to me to myself I must shame because my girl I have now a baby and I must raise I must uh, teach her good habits so I start changing my life changes a lot but I did it and my baby is my life now Yes, it changed a lot, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Do you miss anything? Mm, sometimes, believe me. What's, what's the, like, get... because you're, you're a single mother, right? Yes. Okay. So what's, what do you miss the most? Your girlfriends? I don't know. Girlfriends. Yeah, your girlfriends, <laughs> your friends, you know, do, do you still have good girlfriends? I still have good friends, uh, mm -hmm. and yes. No, because you said you had you had some friends, right? But mostly, you're most likely you have a you had a lot of girl friends, you know, friends that were girls, not boys. That's what I'm saying. Mm, I yes, I have both because well, I can tell you that I have more uh, boys friends. Mm -hmm. mm. Than no, girlfriends. girlfriends, really? Yeah. Wow. Yes, I don't know why because I know that uh, girls sometimes are very hypocrisy. We can say very, very hypocrite. Wait. Yes. Untruthful. Well, Untruthful. I can tell you that in my in my family, I mm -hmm. have four brothers. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have one sister, but I only uh, I only grew up with boys. So uh, I don't know why uh, I remember when I was a teenager because uh, we raised alone. And my mom and my dad, they worked the whole day and we were just alone in the house. So we start, uh, I just was in care of my older brothers. I, wa I was the youngest and I am the youngest. So I remember that uh, the friend of my brothers uh, come to my house, came to my house, sorry, and they start talking with me. So I guess that is for that that I have more men's friends than girls' friends. At this time of the night, wait a minute. My, <laughs> my hair is going crazy. Wait a minute. There you go. Better. Okay. <laughs> the friend of my brothers, 
my brother's friends. Let's right. look at some grammar here. E the endings, e the endings. You know what? The only thing that you're missing is final sounds. That's all. Like That's that. all. But you have the confidence. You have the confidence. Yeah, it's you. just the pronunciation of e the endings. For example, start, started, 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 started. This sounds like study in the past. Started, same pronunciation. You know what you know in the university. You know what kind of people you meet. You know what kind of people you meet in the, at the university or in the university. Okay, I know, I know, I met. I yes. met many people, I met okay. many, yeah. Your life change, third person, your life changes within so many ways, right? Okay. When you become a father. Pronunciation, I must, I must, I must teach her good habits. Good, good habits. habits. Yeah, the okay. H is, is, is not muted. Yes, it sounds like a J. Um, teach her good habits. I only grew up, grew grew up. I only grew up. I just grew up with boys. You know, we were raised. Uh, you said we raised alone. We were raised alone. We were. Fuimos, okay. uh -huh, criados solos. We were raised alone. Um, the friend of my brothers. The friends of my, my brother. brother my brother's friends sounds more pro. Mm, so you're still on an Spanish account, right? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I still. Um, yes, uh, do you know what? I uh, made an interview with Black Support, Black Support, something like that. I made three interviews, but in the third one, I was failed. You failed. The man told me, you Yes, you know what? You uh, speak very nice. You are very fluent, but your pronunciation is not so good. So I wish you were on that. Uh, can you, uh, can we contact you in one month again? I think so. Yes, but I just did because um, sometimes you know I want to change for the mayo. Uh, things are so mm -hmm. things are complicated. That was Isela is not here now because, as you know, she's a manager. Uh, the uh, I guess that her schedule was changed, and so she told me that unfortunately she couldn't continue. Or well, I don't know if she told you something already. First, the workload as a manager is uh, is more difficult. Yes, and more difficult. things to do. What are we gonna do to improve your pronunciation? The only thing you can do is get more discipline. Cry cry all you want, suffer, feel the pain, repeating words. I want to recommend you Rachel's English. I don't know if you have seen her before. Also, sure. Rachel's English. I'll send you some links um, to the chat, to the WhatsApp group, because I would like you guys to work on that. You know, Rachel special, is a specialist on pronunciation and articulation. And she goes deep on how you have to move your tongue and everything. And number one, number two, watch Obama, Simon Sinek, this guy that I was talking to you about. Okay. Watch Obama. Mm -hmm. Simon Sinek. It's on the picture that I just sent you to your WhatsApp. Um, but look for, look for, uh, I don't know, an accent that you love. Morgan Freeman, just listening to his voice and you will fall asleep listening to him, you know, but oh, something okay. that you that you understand, things that you understand and you go like, I'm understanding every word that he's saying. Wow. Okay. And then repeat, 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 repeat. Okay. And please, if you really want to improve your, your pronunciation, record yourself, Jocelyn, record yourself on the cell phone and then you listen to yourself and the audio, the other audio. Make sense? Hmm. Auto criticize yourself. Tu principal uh, atributo es uno similar al mío. Somos muy hiperactivos. Nuestra mente va muy... El tiempo oh, está yeah. volando un montón de cosas. Entonces, hay que aprender también. A, a mí me cuesta. 
me cuesta, te digo, tengo tantas ganas de hablar de tantas cosas en mi cabeza que dejo que la lengua se vaya ahí. A veces cometo el error incluso en la clase y me dejo ir. Mm, enfocémonos. Entonces, intenta eso también. Yo, ¿sabes qué hago? Estoy practicando muchos ejercicios de relajación. Respirar y tranquilizarse. Ya, y enfocarse en una sola cosa. Eso ayuda muchísimo. Yo sé que lo puedes lograr un mes. Un mes. ¿Por qué no empezar el otro año ya con un trabajo bilingüe? Man, ahorita, ya viste cuántas oportunidades ahorita en Black Hawk, en tantos lugares y buenos salarios. Ahorita nos subieron, nos subieron el salario nosotros a 750 este mes. Was crazy. So, yeah, sí. Yo tú lo puedes hacer. Solo hice just for fun, to be honest. Y me recuerdo que le dije al que me estaba entrevistando, fue decirme qué nivel tengo. 80, me dijo yo. ¿Qué? Eh, Fíjate que sí, sí, un 5%, no, no, un 5% no, 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 para la pronunciación. No, 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 Yes, because uh, I remember that was on Zoom a uh, listener uh, uh, called that was recording and they provide me uh, some, some answers and so, sorry, some question I am uh, must answer them. And I did it right, supposedly. It is because good. I understood yeah. what the customer say. But it's... as you know, pronunciation is mandatory. Do you yes. know something? I uh, am a girl who had good score quality and the word and yes I am not always a top performance awesome awesome yes and Mira, I guess que that it, you have everything you have everything Please? it's just you know the most difficult thing for a student is confidence every teenager most of all teenagers can get confidence You are a mature girl, so you know that you need to improve and you're doing it. You're doing it. Don't get frustrated. No te vayas a frustrar en ningún momento. Just do what you have to do. Que te sangre en los ojos. Do it. Many times, but I, uh, pero decidí estudiar, escribirme aquí en el corporativo. You can but do it. I did it in the past, believe me. And it was really stressful and was difficult. No. Whatever you need, text me. I'm here for you, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. bye.